What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we cover the multiplayer replication basics. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on Winbox. Alright, so first of all, what is actually replication? Well, replication is the core part of networking, and its purpose is to synchronize data and procedural calls between clients and servers. Basically, sync the whole game with all the players, right? All the, po the positions, all the animations, the game state, the health, all that, okay? As you may know, the English work, uh, the in as you may know, the English word uh, replicate means like having an exact copy. So it's basically that, okay? All right, so let's start covering some examples. But first, we have to set up the editor to play test in multiplayer. So to do that, we can go into the options right uh, on here, uh, three dots right next to the play uh, settings, the pause and stuff. And you will see down here we have multiplayer options. So first of all, we have the number of players. So in our case, we want to just test with two players. Okay, we're gonna be testing the replication between two of them. Uh, we cannot keep the number low, so you know it's just easier for us. And now we have the networking mode. Now this is how the the game will run and and the first thing is play standalone so this basically just means single player okay there's no replication that will be going on so if i now like for example press play you will see that there's two windows opening but there's only one player that nothing is replicating actually uh actually gonna also uh, change the quality mid to medium because i don't know it's uh, it's consuming a lot of performance guys while i'm recording um, but now uh, you saw that there will also some more um, options of replication. Let's go here and go into a net mode. So the next one is uh, play as listen server. So this will mean that a player will act as a, a, a client and a server at the same time. So they will be playing the game and hosting themselves the server as well. And now we have play as client, which is basically both players will be client that connect into an uh, external uh, dedicated server. Okay, in the back end, it's you know created back the scenes, um, and etc. So for today, we're gonna use the most common one, which is just play as the liaison server. So there's one player ho uh, hosting the game, and I'll also playing the game. Okay, and all the other ones play the game. So make sure that we can go ahead and press play, and now you will see that. Uh, two players appeared, but for some reason, uh, the second player fell. <laughs> well, this is because we have to go ahead and just uh, duplicate the uh, player start. So go ahead and control D and just duplicate it. This is because sometimes uh, if they overlap, they will not spawn, etc. All right. And also make sure that you have here uh, default uh, player start. Okay. So now you will see that both players will start and we go. Now we have a better way of doing this, which is new editor window, which will basically just open individual windows, as you can see. Now uh, you may notice that, let me just go ahead and make this a bit smaller. There we go. All right. So uh, you see that one is the client and one is the server. So in this case, as you can see, this is the listen client. Okay. So we're playing the game and hosting the server. And then we have the other one, which is it's the client, which is joined into the server's game. Great. So, um, as you can see, uh, everything is automatically replicating all the animations, the movement, uh, etc. And this is because um, all the animations and movements are automatically replicated by Unreal. And this is very handy and time saver because uh, it just makes it so easy to make uh, multiplayer games. Of course, this is the 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 basics aspect of it. There's many more things that will complicate a lot of things in the future if you're gonna make a, a big game and, and, and sync everything okay but overall unreal engine will make it very easy for us and just replicate everything okay and movement animation and stuff now there's a thing on animations that will not um well there are some things that in, in animations that will not um replicate automatically and the one that you have to know is just a name montages okay as you know an name montage um is just a uh, it's just an, an animation that you can play from a blueprint. You can just call this node and it will play it. And the thing is that uh, that will not be replicated, for example. And what we have to do is create on our PC. That we'll cover later. But let's start by seeing how these players are replicated. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit the game. 
and now if we go into the third person character blueprint um you will see that ah, that's a notes over here sorry about that <laughs> okay you didn't see anything anyway uh if we go into class defaults and we search for replication or just replica uh you will see that we have a whole section of replication options and parameters and the first one that you will see is well replicate movement so if i were to disable this and compile now if i press play you will see that well if i go ahead and move well the other player in the other um on the other instance it's not moving as you can see and it happens with both so literally the, the movement is not sinking they're not moving okay we're not transferring all the data and etc so let's go ahead and enable this now of course there's many more options that you don't need to know right now um but now we have another one which is replicate and this is just the object in general okay if this actor will replicate or not so if now if we compile and, and disable that you'll see that now literally uh, in the server they appear but in the client now and this is just of how things works with servers and clients they work a bit differently and you will see later on how they work with rpcs but you can see that the in the client the the thing the the, you know, the the actor is not replicated it's not even there but in the server it is because it spawns it itself it's a bit different but basically it's not even there okay so uh you don't want that so we want to replicate this object now there's many cases that you may want to replicate it but there we go and you have things as you know the update frequency and etc but of course we are not going to touch any of that all right so um let's start by an rpc example now that you know a bit how unreal engine replicates its objects the movement etc let's actually make an rpc now you probably will be wondering well what the hell is an rpc well, the RPC is like a message uh, in the form of event that a player sends to another player to do something. For example, if a player attacks and they play an, I don't know, they, they shoot, they spawn a prior to, okay? Um, uh, that will automatically not be um, replicated by Unreal Engine because it's done through the code through different things. So um, probably that specific bullet isn't instanced also in the other uh, reality in the other instances of the player so what we can do is send the event with that uh spawning projectile to the other players all right it's as simple as that now it probably may sound a bit confusing now but don't worry as we start actually doing it you will probably understand much better so let's go ahead don't worry about all that stuff let's find a space and now let's say that for example if i hit the two key i will go ahead and let's make a simple example such as you know changing the player's mesh material okay so we're gonna change the material of the mesh so let's go ahead and drag the mesh and then set material and then i'm gonna set it to be the the index one because it's like the chest okay it's like this uh, the this one which covers more of this chest so we can see a bit better and now the material gonna say for example this pur this uh, purple one which or pink one um which is then more visible so and now if i press play without doing anything else uh, and if i press zoom you will see that well okay um the material changed but it doesn't compile in shaders let me quickly go and just change the thing so it will compile there we go okay so this green one uh is already compiled okay so um let's put that green one there we go okay to compile so let's delete this player so if i now uh press play you will see that it doesn't matter if i go to server whatever if i press two the material on our instance will change as we set it to but in the other player's reality as you can see the other player did not change and it happens the same uh, and vice versa so what we have to do is send the rpc that i just mentioned before so to create an rpc we have to create a custom event so just right click over here and create custom event so for example we have to name these things very 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 cleverly because of course if we don't know what they are we don't know what they do so we always have to just name them correctly especially on rpcs because you know if you start to have a bunch of them it'll be hard to find them etc so for example we can say rpc underscore um you know change material change material and now the rpc 
will actually go ahead and do the uh well the 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 things instead okay so instead of actually the client doing it the rpc now will do it instead and now we have to select the rpc and change the replicates method so now we want it to be multicast now you will see that we have a few options over here so multicast will basically replicate this event into everyone else okay so uh, it will just basically massively send the rpc into everyone okay and then we have run on server which will replicate this event on the server so we will uh if we are a client it will go ahead and send it into the server and then don't worry about run on in client because this is just yeah happening on your client okay anyway we want this to be multicast because we want to change it in all the players so if now i uh, want to press 2 i call the rpc sorry rpc change material and compile and press play and then go here and then press uh, 2 you see that now well we have the green over here changing and now the uh, client on the left also changing but now I send that from the server so if I were to change from the client and press 2 you will see that it would change in our client but not in the server so you're probably wondering what, what just happened why did from the server to the client work but from the client to the server didn't well this is how uh, Unreal Engine does things and it's always server and um, authorized so this is just preventing that hackers can change things from the game in the clients and affects other players, etc. And it is just much better. So what we have to do is firstly send this RPC into the um, into the server, and then the server would um, send the RPC to all the clients by multicasting it. So it is as simple as just creating another RPC um, to server server and then underscore again and then change material uh, for example okay and now the server will basically just do the rpc change material and now instead of uh, doing the rpc directly we will do the rpc from the server <laughs> so it might be a bit confusing there's a lot of server clients etc don't worry when we press 2 we are calling the server to do something the server is going ahead and um, calling the RPC into everyone to change the material. Now we have to do one more thing and it's select the custom event on the server and change it to run on server. So we'll go ahead and call it from the server. So if I press play, you will see that now I can, of course, do it from the server to the client. But now from the client to the server, it will also work, <laughs> as you can see. So yeah, um, it is just honestly practicing and practicing uh, once you got the concept as we can see over here um, it's just doing it doing it and just um, getting the trick as you know okay so I have to not to send this to the server and then multicast them into all the clients and so on and so on okay now we have to um, to have careful with the RPCs um because they can consume a, a lot of uh bandwidth if we are sending for example every frame in the tick frame okay because movement is done in a way that our view engine will replicate it more efficiently and stuff but if we for example launch an rpc and the event tick every frame well that's not good because they're a bit less uh performance optimized i guess we could say okay so you have to be a bit careful but overall you can be safe okay all right, so let's do one more last example, and it's doing the play animation montage that I mentioned before. So, for example, we're gonna press a key, and for example, key three, okay? And then I'm gonna play an animation. So as you may know, to play an anime montage, we just call the play anime uh, montage node. This is the, there's two nodes of anime montage, it doesn't matter which one you play. This is just the simple one, okay? So now uh, we can go ahead and select an animation montage. Now in my case, I'm just going to choose a very simple animation, um, which is going to be this attack um, animation. So we have to create the animation montage, as you may know. Uh, right click, create anime montage. Now if you want uh, to you know, learn more about animation montages and stuff, you can uh, go ahead and check out 
all of my tutorials I have lots of them covering animations and all kinds of things so um, if you want to check it out go ahead all right so now that we have our animation animation mounted uh, created we can now call it uh, so here parachute and now also as you may know uh, we have to make sure that we have an uh, open the animation blueprint and in the, in the anim graph, we have a default slot to be able to play the anim montage. Now, I'm not going to explain that because I have tutorials on this and this is just specialized on replication. Okay. Anyway, so if I now press play and press the three key, you'll see that we are pushing on the server, but not on the client. And the same with the client. We are pushing the client, but not the server. Nothing is replicated. So again, we have to do on our PC. Right click, custom event, RPC, score, attack, a name, for example. Oh, that was that has two A's. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, <laughs> it deleted the whole event. Just a second. There we go. Uh, set the replication into multicast because we want to send it to everyone. And then we want to do this, play the animation. And now we have to do one more thing, which is launch it from... Oh, no, that's not what we want. <laughs> Um, custom event, there we go. Uh, from the server into everyone. So, RPC and let's go server attack and name. And the server will go into run server and then RPC attack and name. And then when we press the three key, it will call the RPC server attack and name. All right, so now if I press play, um, you will see that now if I press the three. Uh, in both realities, they will go be attacking and also from the uh, client. So yeah, it's everything working, everything is syncing as you can see. So hey guys, if you enjoyed the tutorial, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of unreal engine fat tutorials, so if you want to check it out, go ahead. And now just, with all said, bye bye.